Hey Pisces, it's Tara Lynn. I'm an empath and psychic and in today's video I'm going to be getting a message that you need to hear right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the cards. So we just had two cards come out. So we have the Sun and the King of Cups. So with these cards, you have the back of the deck energy as the Page of Swords. So what I'm sensing with the Sun card is that there's a bright side to a situation, but you haven't seen it yet. It's like you're stuck in the middle of this rainstorm and it's like, there's better things ahead, but you're not aware of it yet. And this King of Cups energy is telling you to like balance yourself, stabilize yourself. And so with the back of the deck being the Page of Swords, Pages is all about like learning, being open to things and not really knowing where you're going. And Swords is about the mind, but Swords is also about like the truth, clarity, answers, guidance. And so I feel like you are being told like you need to start a new path. You need to go on a new course of action on your life. You need to try new things. You need to be open to new ideas and new perspectives and new adventures and don't just be stuck in your own little bubble because if you're stuck in yourself if you're stuck in your head you're only going to be surrounded by this rain but if you take advice of others they can lead you out of the storm people are trying to help you you just need to be aware of it and I also feel like you have the ability to help yourself you have the ability to fly out of this rainstorm but the first thing you need to do is accept that your current situation you're in this rainstorm you first need to accept where you're at and then you have to actually find a destination of where you want to go. So see this King of Cups? He's surrounded by all this water and sometimes it's choppy, but he knows he needs to get to dry land. In order to become safe and secure, he's looking for that dry land. He doesn't know where it is, but he knows he's looking for that. So there's some sort of goal in mind. So you, you don't need to have a full plan. You don't need to know everything and have all these answers and have the perfect guidance that you're looking for, but you need to have some sort of idea. You need to have a destination in mind. Whether or not you get to that destination is something that's yet to be determined but you have to know what you're headed towards because if you're just like I need answers but you don't have a conclusion of what that answer is you're never going to get answers so you need to accept where you're at and then you have to focus on what you want and then we have the chariot reversed so the chariot reversed when the chariot is upright I'm gonna turn it this way so you see what I'm talking about when the chariot is upright it's using its tools as its resources to get ahead so the snail sometimes he's slow he can't move as quickly as he wants and maybe his goal has a time frame maybe he has a time limit and if he doesn't reach it in X amount of time he's not gonna get it so he hitches a ride with this bird and the bird can fly it can do things that he can't he's using the help of others and so because it's reversed this is really telling you to pay attention to ways that you are having people in your life try and help you and you're not utilizing it really reflect on yourself on your choices and your actions and see if you need to change things if you need to adjust things uh, because the chariot when it's reversed is also telling you that you're halting progress you're stopping progress you're not moving forward so you need to analyze your life and see how are you keeping yourself stuck in this rain how are you not moving forward what are you purposely doing whether it's conscious or subconscious how are you sabotaging yourself from moving forward um, and this can mean many different things for you. So you really have to take it on your own personal intuition and what it's saying for you. But I feel like this is really telling you to make changes in your life. And the only way to make changes is to address the situation. I feel like you're running from it and you can't do that anymore. You can't ignore it. You can't cover your eyes and say you don't want to listen to it. You really have to pay attention to what the universe is trying to tell you. Because as I was saying that, we have the Six of Swords and we have the Emperor. So both of these cards indicate a type of control because the Six of Swords is moving forward. So the Chariot, right now, you're halting your progress. You have the ability to transition. You have the ability to transform because you have the little bird goes to the bigger bird and then eventually flies away. And then you have the Emperor, which is all about control, but it's also about power and taking accountability for yourself. The Emperor is someone who everyone looks up to. The Emperor is in charge of everyone and he tells people what to do and he he has a whole team working with him. He's basically the leader of the pack. And so this is telling you that you have the ability to transform your life and transition into this leader to something that everyone admires. But right now you can't do it because you can't lead yourself. And so the only way that you can become an inspiration for others is by taking control of your own life. And I get the sense that some of you are like, well, I don't care about others. I just want to focus on my own life and like get control of my own life. Like how do I even become a leader and a role model for others if I can't even do it? And what Spirit's telling you is that you have the ability within 
in you. And sometimes we have to make ourselves your own role models. So most of you probably know the term higher self. I have a couple of videos on messages from your higher self. But in case you don't know, your higher self is your highest version of yourself. It's the most ascended version of yourself. And much like the bird here, that's the ascended version of these other crows here. And so when you reach your higher self, it's like the most at peace and the best version of yourself. It's the most authentic as you can possibly be. And so it's not about being a role model for others necessarily. It's about being your own role model. So you push yourself to become your higher self. So you strive for the best version and the most authentic life you can have. And right now you're stuck in this brain because of your own doing. And because of that spirit's like, you don't need to be stuck here. This is because of you not wanting to move forward, whether that's fear or whether that's because you're comfortable where you're at. You have so much more potential in you and spirit wants you to pay attention to that potential. Spirit wants you to reflect in your life, take accountability and transform your life so you become your higher self. Um, this is really saying like you have a situation here where you have the ability to look at yourself and figure out what you want. But right now you're denying parts of what you want and it's making you sad it's making you unhappy you're getting frustrated and you're not allowing yourself to feel those emotions you're trying to stifle those emotions and you need to feel those emotions you're having them for a reason the reason is that you're not being authentic to yourself you're trying to conform to other people whether it's because you want to make them happy over yourself or whether it's because you get your validation through others but it's really about like addressing what the real problem is solving that and then moving forward but right now it's like you're trying to deny the root problem you're trying to just move along act like everything's okay meanwhile everything's falling apart and you're acting like you don't know why when really deep down you know what's wrong you just don't want to accept it you don't want that to be the answer and the thing is as much as we deny things that doesn't change reality we can't fit what we want to be what the facts are we have to use the facts of a situation to figure out how we move forward we can't just have things happen the way we want them it's not a perfect world and things don't happen that way we can only control ourselves and so if you have these external forces that are at play that are not lining up with what you truly want it's not about what is happening it's not about the situation it's about how you handle the situation so yes like you might be in a situation that's not ideal and you're not gonna have a perfect solution but you still have a solution and right now you're acting like you have none and so you can't just keep yourself stuck and stagnant because you're afraid of the unknown because you're afraid of these choppy waters because eventually the king of cups he's on this dry land he's on this rock eventually the water is gonna get too high and then he's gonna have nowhere to go he needs to make a plan where he's at now and see where the next place to go is and figure out how he's going to get there. He might not like it. It might be scary, but you have to figure out which is worse. Is the choppy water scarier or is the next path, the next solution scarier? Because I feel like a lot of you, you're trying to not do the thing that scares you, but yet when you actually like get through this, when the water's up to your neck, you're going to be like, oh, I should have done that. Like now I don't know what to do. Like now I'm out of options because my option has left and it's no longer here. Um, and so I feel like spirit's calling you to fix things before it's too late, before you really are at rock bottom and before you really only have one option left. Right now you have multiple options. You have multiple routes you can take. You just got to pick one. You got to do it. Like there's no more waiting anymore. It's time to go. It's time to change your life. It's time to listen to yourself and become authentic and not be scared of the outcome. You have to let your fear go with this. This is really a message from spirit. Like, hey, I can't hold your hand forever. You have everything you need. You gotta get out of your own head. You gotta get out of your own way. And the back of the deck energy is the six of pentacles. So this is saying that you have balance in your life. You just have to allow yourself to be balanced. Right now you're not picking balance. Right now you're choosing to stay in the chaos. And you're not gonna get out of that until you choose to do so. And nothing else is gonna do it for you because this issue is not the external situations at play. It's the way you are reacting and allowing those situations to control you. I really feel like spirits like almost screaming at you like you have all these signs, you have all these red flags. You have been told multiple times to change courses and you're not listening and spirits like you have to listen before it's too late because eventually it's gonna be too late and then you're gonna be even more in your thoughts and think I can't leave because it's too late when really like when I say too late it's not saying that you can't change it it's saying it's too late for other options now you have to go with the option you were dreading with the option you didn't want to face so it's like you're either gonna address it now or you're gonna address it later both ways can kind of hurt but one's gonna hurt a lot more versus the one that's currently available that's gonna hurt a lot less and so it's basically about picking the lesser of two evils um, because the situation is not ideal like 
spirits agreeing that's not ideal. The situation kind of sucks that you even have to make this choice, but unfortunately you do because not everything is perfect, not everything's peaceful. We always have bad moments in our lives, but we really need to like take accountability and like realize like if we keep yourself stuck, we're not actually living our lives. And spirit wants you to live your life because you have so much potential. And so I really feel like spirit's just like telling you like this is your wake-up call like do something anything it doesn't matter what it is get out of your comfort zone change things up do something that you've been afraid to do and you will see that your life is going to transform because you're going to break down this fear of change you're going to break down these mental limitations and you're going to free yourself and you're going to become more authentic to yourself and that's going to make you happier in turn even though this might be scary even though it might not be as positive as you want it to be eventually you're going to be more free and it's actually going to make you a lot happier with your life and so it's just about taking action sometimes it's better to think about things after you already started it. Um, really just get out of your own head because your head is what's holding you back right now. Go with your intuition right now and just do something that's scary but you know is right. Um, I really feel like Spirit's saying it's like, you got this. You just got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that things are going to get better. You got to believe that this temporary external issue is not going to consume you forever. And even if it hurts now, it's not going to hurt forever. You're going to be okay. And you really just got to keep moving with your life and transform and become the higher version of yourself that you can. And um, really, that's just the main thing Spirit keeps repeating over and over. It's just like, get a focus, get answers and do something. Like don't just stay here waiting forever. It's not gonna work out how you want it to. Um, and they're sending you so much love and light and so am I. Um, I definitely understand how this is not an ideal situation but you definitely have this and you're so much stronger than you think and so much stronger than you give yourself credit for. And so I'm really supporting you and sending you all so much love and light at this time. If this did resonate for you, please let me know in the YouTube comments down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share with someone else who needs to hear it. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already a part of this family. I would love to have you here. Also turn that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I post multiple times a week. If you want to watch more videos, I'm going to have them linked in the cards above. And if you want to get your own private reading, I do sell them. You can either message me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can check out my Etsy shop. Everything is linked in the description box down below. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.